but um, rather worrying news for the, the Hancock household, I imagine, and indeed uh, his aide's household, both of them being married. Front page pictures on the Sun newspaper uh, of uh, Matt Hancock and his aide, uh, Gina. Uh, she is uh, G Gina Colodangelo, 43 years old, hired last year, paid by the taxpayer, senior role in the Department of Health, and pictures of her and Matt Hancock in a clinch uh, in his office, uh, even with his, uh, well, put it this way, there's no social distancing, and um, hands, space, and... Um, Face um, it seems to involve their two faces very close together and his hands on her backside. Um, Dave Chawner, um I mean, <laughs> this story, I, I suppose, look, are we shocked that politicians sometimes have affairs? Probably not. Are we shocked that a, a, a cabinet minister who was supposed to be, you know, saving lives, sorting out the NHS, uh, organising vaccines and things, has had time to be having a, a apparently rather torrid affair, uh, obviously can't keep their hands off each other, while we're in the middle of a pandemic? Well, th this is the shocking thing. And I think it's I genuinely feel sorry for Matt Hancock's wife, Martha, yes. not only because she's got to go through this very publicly, but also because she's married to Matt Hancock and nobody <laughs> should have to go through that. I don't think people are surprised that politicians do this sort of stuff, but it still doesn't soften the blow. Of, no. and, and again, I've. I've said this before, I do think there are HR issues. If he hired the woman and now he's kissing her, is that a good look? Yeah, I mean, lots of the people would be sacked for this. I mean, even yeah. if even consensual, I mean, no reason to think it's not. Again, he hasn't made a statement about this. But um, um, it does one, as one wily listener has pointed out, it brings a new meaning to the, uh, the government uh, uh, demand for you to come forward and get your jab. Anyway, <laughs> 7.30.